Cultural Arts Murfreesboro, part of Parks and Recreation, announced new laureates for 2023. The laureate position is considered a civic appointment and one of honor. Let's meet and get to know a little more about this year's laureates. Forged her life out of the Great Depression. This year's Performing Arts Laureate is Murfreesboro native Kara Kemp. Kemp is deeply involved in the arts community and has a great passion to encourage others to express themselves. I have about 30 years experience in the performing arts. It has been an eclectic career. Uh, I started out in Knoxville. I was a theater major who then um, started a theater company, a nonprofit grassroots theater company. After a move to LA and traveling around with bands, she found her way back home. When I moved back to Murfreesboro about 15 years ago, I wanted to be able to reestablish myself in the arts here. So I started doing things with community theater and then started producing my own stage with storytelling and art. Kemp hosts Bloom Stage, an interactive show with art, music, and spoken word, all performed by people from our community. Mike James is the 2023 Poet Laureate. I started writing poetry when I was 15. Uh, I, I can't paint, I can't dance, uh, not a very good football player. Uh, so it was really one of those things that, uh, because I've always loved to read, uh, the reading naturally, or uh, in my case, led to writing. James says he's been writing every day for the last 37 years. Growing up in South Carolina and inspired by James Dickey, James is still inspired by poets he grew up reading. So some of the poets that I fell in love with then that I'm still in love with are Robert Lowell and Amira Baraka, uh, James Dickey, Ezra Pound, uh, a, a lot of the old guys that have really stayed with me. James has several things he wants to accomplish in his position. I really want to raise the, the, the profile of the literary arts within uh, the Murfreesboro community. And I think one of the ways that I can do that is bringing in some poets, because I know literally 100 poets from, from around the country. That's something I would like to do. Along the same lines, um, there's been a lot of focus in some laureate positions really on getting people to write more. I'm a big proponent of getting people to read more. Uh, you know, there's, there's plenty of bad writing in the universe, and uh, I'm a big believer of what the, the Nobel laureate, Saul Bellow, said that a writer is just a reader moved to emulate. And, you know, it's, it's, it's really one of those things that uh, between iPhones and everything else, a lot of people don't, don't really slow down. Uh, for the written word. James is passionate about the arts and says it makes for a more cohesive community. In, uh, in World War II, um, the, uh, when Winston Churchill was Prime Minister of, of Great Britain, they asked him about cutting the arts budget uh, because they were fighting the Nazis. And Churchill said, but what are we fighting for if we cut the arts? Uh, and that's really how I view the arts within the community, that it's not what you need to live by eating, by breathing, but they're what sustain us. And uh, whether that is, you know, you're reading Robert Frost or you're watching a Sloan film, you know, whether it's high art or low art, they're all things which strike us emotionally. And, and I think uh, the arts are really what keep us going and connect us to the world. And, and I think that we've lost a lot of connectivity in the last few years between COVID and everything else. And that's just one way to, to build a greater community. The Cultural Arts Laureate Program was founded with the intent to give experienced individual artists an opportunity to share their talents with the community. 